Welcome to YouTube. Do you know what magnetic variation is? And do you know what altitude you should fly when you're flying VFR? Let's cover this and more. Buckle up pilots and passengers. Let's fly VFR. Today we're going Truru Air Park out to Murray Bridge in the beautiful South Australian countryside. This compass tells us where to go, but it doesn't always tell us the truth because around the world there's different magnetic variations. In Australia, where we are, it varies from about minus 3 to plus 13. So you have to make that adjustment to your plans. So when you're drawing a flight path, if it's in our case for the flight we're planning today, 190, and we're at 8 degrees east, we must subtract 8 degrees to get a proper heading of 182. And this is the track that we will follow today. As you can see on the map, we're starting at Truro, heading down to Murray Bridge. The other thing we have to take into consideration is our altitudes. Although it's not strict below 5,000 feet in Australia, uh, in this situation we can fly up to 4,500 or 2,500 because of the bearing we're on, 182. We actually have controlled airspace above the 4,500 point, therefore we have to maintain that as a maximum. So while we get the rest of the aircraft ready before we go, uh, doing our basic checks as always, making sure our instruments are all working correctly, engines in the green, all the instruments there are working, we have a trim set, our brakes are working, our radios are set, the area is clear, our flight controls work correctly, checking both sides, check our flaps, make sure they motor down correctly, they do, and check the other side, and it's down, and back away again as we don't need them for takeoff in the Cessna 172. So the weather is good today, light wind, so nothing particularly to worry about there. Our mixture, the red knob is all the way in, that's full rich, and everything else is ready to go. So we need a radio call. Truro traffic, Cessna 172 taxiing for runway 02 for takeoff to Murray Bridge. Through road traffic and listen for any response. Power brake off, ready to go. Quick check of everything one more time. You can never check it enough. So weather's good, we're going to head out through the gap in the trees there over to the right. We've got some visiting aircraft today so it's a little bit more lively at the airport. A couple of occasions we've had some animals running around here. There's some animated ones there, which is a bit of a chuckle. We're rolling out, making sure everything's in the green. We've got a couple of World War II fighters sitting in the shed over there. This is another airport that I've put together, so you can move things around as you like. Add, subtract aircraft, add buildings, add flying aircraft, there's something else you can do. Now time to do our magneto check, so brake on. We'll run the RPMs up to 2000. Turn off one of the magnetos and make sure it's just a small drop, only about 50 RPM. Back up, it should recover. Check the other side to make sure the other magneto is working. Then getting ready to go. Okay, powering up. And just a, a quick call out to my three first subscribers. Thanks, guys. I think you guys are all Aussies. Thanks for coming on board. And I look forward to seeing uh, a lot more people joining and subscribing that'd be really great guys if you're watching the video and you enjoy what we do here at let's fly bfr please subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with at least weekly videos at the very minimum okay there we go 
small drops as we check the right than the left. Back up again, good, and back to my line. Things looking great. And we can also use our clock as well, and making sure that our altimeter is set. 220 feet above sea level here. And when we get down to Truro, it's 180 feet, so it's a little lower than where we are currently. Look around. No deer is running around today. Check all the instruments, all looking good. Face track, no IRs, working pretty well. Doesn't like me looking left today so much, but that's fine. Now the flight today is going to take us on a southerly heading, as it must do, 182. We have a radio call now. Through road traffic, Cessna 172 taxiing and taking off on runway 02, departing to the south to Murray Bridge, through road traffic. I'm just expecting those deer to turn up again. What you're planning to do, and I've even got that with me at the moment on a small pad that I normally carry when I actually go flying and also the map. Now this is a simple thing but if you're going to be flying south you don't want to be reading the map upside down so turn the damn thing around so that you can see which way you're going. That way your roads and everything will line up as you're flying along. So ready to go. Powering up. Radio call completed. Checking the pattern. All clear. Powering up. Keeping it straight. A bit more rudder needed. There's our 60 knots, nose up. Good. Now, what I'm planning to do here is to climb to 500 feet AGL, up ground level, turn, continue to climb, but then depart directly overhead. One of the main reasons I wanted to do this, and the reason I'm going to use the uh, autopilot in the process today is that I want to check and see if X-Plane actually does model variation or magnetic variation. I'm told it does. So that's one of the things I want to do. So 8 degrees over even over 40 or so miles, 44 miles, will uh, would have us quite a ways off track if that's the case. So now I believe it does seen on the forums that talks about magnetic variation being part of the programming so I'm just rotating out now head a little bit more centrally towards the uh, runway so we're getting a center point to center point now there's probably going to be a little bit of variation on the way down but if we're within a you know a few degrees if it turns up directly ahead of us then uh, we know it's going to be okay we were 10 or so kilometers off to the right, or nautical miles as the case may be, then we know that it's not normal. So let's see how it goes. It's 182, so it's a little hard to get the two accurate, so allow for a little bit of that. Okay, fuel's all good, everything's going well. Climb speed's good, about that uh, 70, I'm not more towards 80 knots at the moment. That's okay. And again, we're looking to get to 4,500 feet as our cruising level today. Still working on that, still a bit of a work in progress as in 
is the Murray Bridge, but if you'd like them, all you need to do is drop me a message or a comment, and uh, I'll put those in my Dropbox for you, and you guys can download. You will need to get a few libraries from explain.org, but that's all free, so get some free CD. Around the South Australian area, I've got uh, Adelaide International, as well as Parafield, I've done those. They're fairly complete, although I'm working in the city still on the Adelaide one, so I'm going to give you a bit of a skyline to, uh, to fly past. Okay, doing well at the moment, just coming up to the 4,500. It's pretty dry out here, this uh, is Z17, Volvo XP scenery that we have today. Climbing. Out to the left we will be able to see the river in the near future. And we should come close to the river as well when we're um, on our approach to Lean and to Murray Bridge. It's actually on the river. Now the first point we're going to be looking for is uh, it's going to be Sedan, which should be off to the right, should be a small, a small settlement, and the number of roads leading to it, that will be our first point. After that we will have Cambrai, which is a very common point of the road before we head right south to the Google Road, maybe down to Aldinga. close to the 4,500 now, just going to go to the now. we settle down, we'll be able to concentrate what we're doing at the moment. We don't want to go to 4,500. Just need to control the space from the area.
I'm going to get quite close to the edge of that. You can see the green line here of the subscriber. So we're going to cut right past that. That's about all the same. And it was a nice little slip town.
see is the river away from us. Okay, we're just about in the right place to uh, turn the base. Murray Bridge traffic, Cessna 172, turning left base 4, runway 02. Murray Bridge, it's a little low. I'm at a 
little further. Descending nicely, approaching a thousand feet per minute, that's okay if you're on your own, but it's not real good if you have a passenger, it doesn't do them a lot of good. We've got something flying over us there to the right. Not doing my best uh, flying here, I'm a little bit out to the right, I've been a bit late. correct that we still got plenty of room and it's certainly okay. Okay lining out nicely. It is quite green there as I say on the ortho tile. Probably a few more trees around which will uh, add to that as we get along. Final is good, 60 knots. A little bit more would be better. Going down to Nearly there, nose up, watching the far end of the runway, giving that nose up, a little touch and a kiss on the back wheels, the main wheels, this is good, nose down, brakes, and it looks like we'll make the second entrance to the taxi, taxiway. Oh, we've got a biplane doing a few uh, low fly passes, okay we'll tidy everything up, put the flaps away, fuel pumps off, and our pedo heat off, not that we probably need it but it's there we might as well have it on. The day it uh, for some reason gets cold at altitude and you're not real sure. Oh, we've got a yak taking off. Quite busy here today at Murray Bridge. Careful. Keep the power up a little. Rolling resistance uh, on a few of the runways I think is a little bit excessive. I've mentioned it in the past. Now if I put my own runways here and uh, it was the case then I would understand. But they're just ortho so. Behind so we have Cessna ahead. And around the corner standing around we do have another mate that does uh, his well, did his flying out here Mick so if you happen to catch onto this Mick you know who you are okay, turning around then we'll just shut everything down and uh, that'll be our trip out here so again if you've uh, enjoyed the the flight out thanks for staying with me feel free to like and uh, you know comment any suggestions are uh, happily accepted good bad or indifferent because i'm still very new at this i'll try and endeavor to have a little bit more on the views on coming videos and if you'd like to see some of the other ones that I've done previously, so so far I've covered magnetic variation, flight levels today. We've done a little on just around the circuit and uh, on airspace, and especially around the Gawler Airport, the airspaces we have. So airspace we need to be concerned with, the military airspace. So again, thanks very much for flying with me. Catch up with you soon and uh, get out there and Let's all go flying VFR. Catch you again soon. Bye-bye.